Welcome back guys to another Kangen Omega video. Today I'm doing a tier list for the fighters in Team Kangen and Team Purgatory in the current Omega tournament. I'm going to be ranking them from strongest to weakest. Most of it will be prediction based. As we as we know, we don't know how many of the fighters will fight for Team Purgatory. And we don't know how strong many of the fighters are currently for Team Kang. It will be mostly prediction based. And I plan to redo this tier list at the end of the tournament to see how close I was in comparison to my predictions here. If you're new here and enjoy my Kangen content, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to talk more about it, make sure to join the Discord. The link is in the description. So the tiers, the tiers we have here, at the top tier we have Beard, just straight up Beard, you know. Kuroki Gensai having his own tier at the top, her own pretty much statement on the tier list, Beard. Then High Fang, Fang tier, Chad, and then Triple S. We can't like disrespect the fighters, all of them like top tier fighters in the Kangen verse. So you can't put like trash down here, you have to at least give it, you know, SS tier. And like, I'll be happy with Chad tier myself to be honest, honestly, so... Let's go, let's start off with like some easy ones that we currently already know, and that is this guy here, this guy here, you probably, probably Chad tier, honestly, probably Chad tier, Akura, absolute insanity, berserker, justice boy, probably Chad tier. Uh, Carlos is currently fighting, being compared to Beard pretty much by everyone on team, well, not by everyone, by Akura. Uh, Kano Gito and Oma, but my personal opinion, I don't think he's Kroki tier. I think he's High Fang tier. And with saying that, I think Gao Lang is also High Fang tier. I'm not going to order them like inside the categories, such as like this guy being higher than him. I'm just going to put him in their uh, tier or category as they are, and that's how it's going to be. So Gao Lang and Carlos, I believe, are High Fang tier. I believe it's going to be a top tier fight. I still think somehow Gao Lang is going to win the fight based on the recent chapter. If you haven't checked out my chapter review, make sure to do that as well. But it will make sense for Carlos to win the fight to pretty much set the threat level of purgatory to a new level. But currently, I think they're going to be high fang tier by the end of their battle. Uh, who else do we have here? We got uh, Kure Rain, high fang tier as well. As I mentioned in my uh, power level or ranking list for Team Kangen, I think he's top three strongest on Team Kangen currently. So high fang tier here. Uh, where is Oma? Oma? I'm going to leave Oma out for now. Oma and these two I'm going to leave out for now. So there you go. Uh, this guy, I believe, will be high fang tier as well because he needs to battle against, or most likely will battle against Kano Agito during his battle. And you know, he's definitely high fang tier, but I may consider putting him in beard tier at this point. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to put him in uh, him and Oma in beard tier, as I think these two are going to fight during the uh, tournament. The two fangs here, I think they're going to fight, and they're going to show that uh, Kano Agito is above him. That he may be a high fang tier, but. Uh, Kano is above Fang tier. He is now onto the beer tier. Uh, Rieto, I believe he is probably Chad tier at this point. He's probably improved a lot over the two year time skip, especially training with, you know, someone like Beard. The uh, Annihilation tournament status for him was pretty low, probably below even SS tier. But after two years of training, showing him to take out a uh, not fully recovered or not in shape uh, Robinson, showing that he's actually Chad tier currently. Uh, Julius, I believe Julius will have a pretty decently sized buff during the two-year time skip. So I'm going to put him and this other guy here both in Fang tier together. It's just based on their pure strength and how big they are, and their fight's going to be brutal as fuck. It's probably going to be one of the most brutal fights in all of Canyon with two big boys going at each other. Uh, if you, you have to put someone on team uh, Purgatory in pretty much beard tier, and what I think is going to be in beard tier is going to be this Falcon guy. Falcon, I believe, will be beard tier, as my prediction is going to be going against the 8th Fang Matsuda and actually defeat him. So Falcon, I'm going to put him beard tier. So there you go. Oh, it's good to mention, beard tier isn't the top tier in the Kangaverse, by my opinion. There's a tier above beard tier, and that's called the Almighty Beard tier. And that's where Kuroki again size sits, but he's not fighting in this tournament, so you can't have him here, so he doesn't need his like own personal tier. So who else do we have here? Uh, Geo Ryuki, I think he's probably Chad tier as well. Not not yet Fang tier, I think. Maybe by the end of the tournament, if he like develops his skill, and maybe after the tournament, he'll be able to reach Fang tier. But currently, I think Chad tier is a safe spot for him. Uh, the Kuro member guy, who's part of the, not Kuro member, the Wu clan member that we recently learned as, who was probably sent in by Edward Wu to represent the Wu clan in the Purgatory side. I believe he's going to be fighting Rain. I don't remember, or I don't know who's going to win out of them two fighting. It's going to be an insane fight, but currently I'm going to put him in High Fang tier as well. 
Uh, Wakasuki, I'll leave him out for now. This guy here, if he's the masked fighter that's from Chapter Zero and from all that purgatory stuff, this guy's the masked fighter because he has like the same uh, bottom and like size compared to the masked guy. He's like a Chinese fighter, I believe. If he is the masked fighter, I'm going to assume that he is the masked fighter from Chapter Zero and all that. I'm going to put him in beard tier. Uh, who else do we have here from Team Hand? Okibo. Uh, I want to put him in chat tier, but is he worthy of chat tier? He could go in SS tier, but I'm gonna... You could even put him in Fang tier, I argue, but currently I don't think he... I'm gonna leave him in chat tier currently. He did play a good role or go pretty well against Kano Gito in the Annihilation tournament, but I can't just put him in Fang tier. I just, I just feel like he belongs in chat tier, because, you know, he is a chad with that clown outfit on. Uh, this guy here, based on his motives for being in there, I wanted to get money to continue his writing passion, I'm going to put him in SS tier alone. Uh, Wakasuki, I believe Wakasuki is going to be a pretty strong threat for uh, Pogotori, and he's going to be a monster during this tournament, so I'm going to put him there, in high fang tier at this point. Even during the Annihilation tournament, I could, you could argue that he was high fang tier during that time as well, so there you go. Uh, Hayami. Hayami, we don't really know, like, anything about it. He could be an absolute monster. He could be high fang tier. I don't think he'll be beard tier. He could be high fang tier, fang tier, chad tier. But I think... I don't think he's going to be SS tier. I think he'll be surprisingly strong. And he might actually win his fight against Purgatory. So with that alone, I'm going to put him in chad tier. This guy here, I had him predicted to be fighting against Oma. And with that, I'm going to have to put him in high fang tier going to be a good fight between him and Omar. And now the rest are just Purgatory members that we pretty much know nothing about. This guy and the Nicholas guy were both like side boys, or not really side boys, but top class gladiators next to the Six Fanger Mitsudo, or X Fing Six Fanger Mitsudo. So you can assume they may be uh, Fang tier fighters. But out of them, this guy probably seems stronger. I'm going to put Nicholas in uh, Chad tier. This guy, I'm going to probably put in. Um, hmm, who should I put this guy? Put this guy in Fang tier, maybe? No, I'm gonna put him in Chad tier. This guy will be, no, 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 this guy will be Chad tier as well. I want this guy to be in Fang tier. I believe he has maybe possibly the same thing that Wakasuki has with his super dense muscles based on their faces looking the same and having similar lines. That's just a extreme theory. May not be the case whatsoever, but it could be very possible. And with that, I believe he'll be Fang tier. And then this guy here, I'm going to leave him in SS tier as well. So here's my prediction going over again in B tier. We have uh, Oma. Oma. Kano, uh, the guy known as Falcon, and the possible masked fighter from Chapter Zero and so and so, who's representing Purgatory. We got High Fang tier, Carlos, Galang, Rayan, the Wu guy, uh, Six Fang, Eight Fang, Wakasuki, and mis another mysterious masked fighter. In Fang tier, we have Julius, the Toa guy from Team Purgatory. And then other two in a Chad tier. Looking at Chad tier again, I'm going to put Okoro down below, honestly. I don't think he is maybe that worthy of Chad tier at this point. Gayaroki probably could have defeated him during their battle. And I think since then, uh, Roki may be a little bit stronger. And if he goes 100% all out, I think Roki probably would be above Okoro. So with that alone, I'm going to put him in the Chad tier as well. And maybe I could, should possibly move one of these two down i'm gonna move now that guy seems like an absolute chat i'm gonna nah i'm gonna leave it like this uh this is my list for fighters for the ranking of kangan vs poke to all the fighters here this is what i think let me know what you think down in the comments if you want to do this uh, tier list as well. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to post yours in my Discord. Why not? I'll post a link in the description of this video. So if you're interested, make sure to do that as well. Let me know your thoughts in my Discord or down in the comments below. Do you disagree with me anything? Do you agree with me with anything? Let me know what uh, video you want me to cover next. Any other tiers videos? Tomorrow will most likely be a... I believe I'm going to be doing a record of Ragnar video, but if not, I may make my first Berserk video. We'll see what happens. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, and that's it, guys. Peace.